I have already opened this chest. There's nothing else there. What do we have to do? Uh, just start talking, and then your heart will tell you. If something goes wrong, I hope you'll help. Donnie was a good bowler and a good person. He was my friend. This man loved fresh air and bowling. And then he was gone. He was gone too soon, like other young guys. Lord, in your wisdom receive him. How you received the pirates in Shark Bay, Crooked Bay, and the filibuster wars. These guys lost their lives. So did Donnie. Donnie, who loved bowling so much. So, Theodore Donald Friendman, according to your last will, we commit your mortal remains to the waters of the blue ocean that you loved so much. Good night, sweet prince. <laughs> Crap. Oh shit, oh, Holy Father, I'm sorry. Damn wind. <laughs> Always pour toward the wind direction. <laughs> Damn it. How are you alive? You almost died just now. What are you doing in the water? <coughs> I accidentally fell off the black cliff. You're lucky to have me around. You would have drowned. To be honest, I wasn't sure you were alive. Thought you might have something valuable with you. <coughs> I have nothing of value. <coughs> I, I tried, but it was in vain. It's a pity. Thank you for saving me. Oh, please. Now I will be wet all evening. All my clothes are wet because of you.
I knew that I would find you here. <laughs> Wherever I go, I meet you. I know, right? I've already walked around the whole island ten times today. How's the catch? It's too early to judge yet. It turns out that this is a small portion of the whole treasure. This cave is not a treasure warehouse. It was used as a logistics center for various contraband. There are also diaries and an accounts book belonging to the priest. Judging by it, he earned a fortune in tobacco smuggling. He kept a whole network all over the Caribbean, from Skeleton Island to Buccaneer Bay. What will you do next? I want to read all his diaries. They must have some sort of clue. I see the priest was also a graphomaniac. Yes, he wrote down everything he saw. Like when a bird flew by, and a delicious soup he ate for breakfast. Like when a monkey put on his cassock, and how others kissed his hands. Every single day is documented here. Are you going to read all of this? Of course. My business is very competitive. All easily accessible treasures have already been found by other black archaeologists. <laughs> Most of them don't even know how to read. So I have a very good chance of being the first one to find his riches. It will take a lot of time. Unless you give me another clue, like before. You said you have some kind of clairvoyant gift. This time, I can't help you. I'm sorry. Mana is over. Understood. But you still helped me a lot. As a show of gratitude, you can take one of these valuable things for yourself. This is very similar to the amulet that Penny made for Harvey. I knew that I would find you here. <laughs> Wherever I go, I meet you. I know, right? I've already walked around the whole island ten times today. How's the catch? It's too early to judge yet. It turns out that this is a small portion of the whole treasure. This cave is not a treasure warehouse. It was used as a logistics center for various contraband. There are also diaries and an accounts book belonging to the priest. Judging by it, he earned a fortune in tobacco smuggling. He kept a whole network all over the Caribbean, from Skeleton Island to Buccaneer Bay. What will you do next? I want to read all his diaries. They must have some sort of clue. I see the priest was also a graphomaniac. Yes, he wrote down everything he saw. Like when a bird flew by, and a delicious soup he ate for breakfast. 
like when a monkey put on his cassock and how others kissed his hands. Every single day is documented here. Are you going to read all of this? Of course. My business is very competitive. All easily accessible treasures have already been found by other black archaeologists. <laughs> Most of them don't even know how to read. So I have a very good chance of being the first one to find his riches. It will take a lot of time. Unless you give me another clue like before. You said you have some kind of clairvoyant gift. This time I can't help you. I'm sorry. Mana is over. Understood, but you still helped me a lot. As a show of gratitude, you can take one of these valuable things for yourself. This is very similar to the amulet that Penny made for Harvey.
this thing that can move me in time. Harvey, I have something for you. Have you already found the 200 pieces of gold? No. Where can I find you gold on an almost deserted island? But I have something else. I can't believe my eyes. Where did you find it? It's a long story, Harvey. Let me hug you. To you, it may just be bones on a string, but to me, it's the last memory I have of Penny. Oh my god! I can't believe my eyes! It's the one! Maybe now I can find Penny and explain everything to her. I'm crying now. Ask for whatever you want. I will do anything for you. From now on, I am in your debt. Yes, I would like to finally get out of this island. Take me back and we're even. Yes, I'm ready to take you back and forth all day long. 
Thanks, buddy. Let's not waste time. I'm very tired today. No problem. Jump into the boat. Harvey, can you not take me to this island later on today? So that I'm not worried or scared? I, I can't do that. If I don't bring you in today, you won't find the amulet for me. You must understand, the past has already happened. Even if it's in the future that hasn't happened yet. I hope you understand what I'm trying to tell you. Then tell me everything I need to know before you take me to the Isle of Death. To be ready for this adventure, whether it's good or bad. Oh, sure. Thanks. Wait. You won't tell me anything, will you? I would already know if you told me. What else did you want? Nothing. Wait, though. You gave me the compass from this device, but no clock. Then give it back. Everything needs to be done exactly as it was. You mean the compass had no clock? Harvey, why are you making things difficult for me? Nothing should be changed. Otherwise, our present may change. And everything so far favors me. <sighs> Listen, Harvey, you must know something about the future. No, uh, you don't have to tell me anything. Otherwise, we risk breaking the space-time continuum. The consequences would be disastrous. Now that's a risk you'll have to take because your life depends on it. No, I refuse to accept the responsibility. You're glad it's over for you. You won't even say goodbye before leaving? I'm sorry, I completely forgot. Bye. You're not the only one with time control now. Do you know each other? Mind your own business, Harvey. Your friend decided that stealing from a witch is a good idea, and he won't get anything for it. I I'm sorry. I, I won't do it again. Of course you won't. Trust me. Don't mess with me. This will end badly for you.